Yeah, of course, uh, there's the, sort of the lots of obvious mistakes uh, that, yeah. that we all know, but we don't we don't <laughs> pay attention anyway. We still do. Yeah. But, but I think one one that I see sort of at all at at all levels, from even in athletes who are really serious about their diet, where I think yeah. a lot of people can improve, is sort of the distribution of protein throughout the day, uh, and like. From, from what we know about protein synthesis, which is obviously really important for, mm. like we often say recovery, but really what is important for is the sort of the longer term effects, the, the training adaptation. Yeah. Um, and that, that's really why we train, right? We train yeah. okay. to, to get better. So we, we want to support that with our nutrition. Protein is absolutely key to that. And we know yeah. that it's, it's not just about the amount of protein you uh, eat, which is in, in a lot of the strength sports, it's still this idea is like more is better, but it's more about the, the sort of types of protein and it is more about the, the timing of the intake and how much you take in and each of the time points. And mm, okay. normal, normally athletes have this sort of massive sort of protein intake around the evening meal, especially in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <are> you're right <laughs> and uh what would be better is to um have a more even distribution throughout the day where you okay. maybe have four or five meals uh per day or, or moments where wow. you where you eat. and each of those moments has about 20 or 25 grams of uh, of protein and okay. if you analyze the diet of a lot of athletes then you'll find that they have two moments maybe where they actually reach that uh, sometimes yeah, yeah but definitely not four or five um, wow yeah I, I certainly don't do that <laughs> yeah, yeah that's so a lot that's, well, it did, but it does require a little bit of change for for people yeah. but, uh, long longer term that uh, that could really help 